Hey folks, so this is probably going to end up getting mainly posted to my YouTube channel as I've not done a YouTube video in some time. Um, and the channel is called Slice of Life for a reason. But uh, it might also see a posting on Facebook. I uh, just out for a walk here this morning. I got to run some errands and it's a beautiful day. A little cloudy and overcast. I don't think we're supposed to get any rain. Um, so I got some errands to run and all that. But I thought I'd bring you guys along so that you could uh, enjoy the walk with me. And because of that, I'm going to take the video off my mug and put it on the back camera so you all can see the route that I'm going along here. Give me just one second. Let me just switch it over here. On recording button. 1.0 times. 22%. Unlabeled. Design. System UI. Applications are using your... Camera unlabeled. Design 217. 22%. 1.0 times. Pause recording button. Stop video button. Take photo button. Recording time 01. System UI. Applications are using your camera. If... Camera unlabeled. Design 217. 22%, 1.0 times, slider, unlabeled, design 217, 22, 1.0 times, pause recording, button, stop video, button, take photo, button, recording time 0119, system UI, application, camera, unlabeled, design 217, 831-281-311, 22%, what, unlabeled, design 217, 831-281-311, 50%, white out, exposure is now 0, exposure knob, image, unlabeled, design 2, 22%, 1.0 times, pause recording, button, stop video, take photo, well, button, recording time 01, system UI, believe. applicant, camera, unlabeled, design 217, 831, 281, 22%, 1.0, unlabeled, design 217, 50%, exposure is now 0.0, exposure knob, image, 22%, 1.0 times, pause recording, stop video, button, take photo, button, recording time 0158, well, 0159, system UI, applications are using your camera and microphone. Flip this to the back camera. Camera unlabeled. Design two one seven eight three one two eight one three eleven. I guess I'll just turn this so that this camera kind of gets a kind of a side-on view, and I'll figure out why it doesn't do it later. But anyway, we are, or should be, approaching. A, well, let's see. I crossed Edge Hill, so we should have a little ways to go till we get to Grove Street. But anyway, um. Just to catch everybody up on current events, with Zoe no longer working, I'm back in Jacksonville and I have a place at Turner. And uh, I think we're going to transition out to the near side shoreline closer to traffic here. Otherwise I'm going to get hung up in all this shrubbery and, and fencing and stuff and I'm not looking to do all that mess. So. But anyway, I'm here in Jacksonville. She's planning on coming down as soon as we can get the money up for her and the cat to fly down. We possibly got some help in that regard, so I think that's going to happen a little sooner than we had hoped, hopefully. But I still got to make the place minimally livable for two people. So that's an ongoing project as we speak. Um, got a few things. But I need to get a couple more pieces of comfortable furniture for now so that when she gets here she'll have uh, a place to lay down and oh no actually she's got a place to lay down it's called an air mattress but we do need to get a couple more comfortable chairs and I'm kind of in the market for a kitchen table um, and uh, might need another dresser uh, if uh, I can't get things more organized a little bit more than I want to right now but uh, so a few things honestly uh, dishes I can kind of make work but I might have to add a little bit more to it and just to accommodate two people uh, the one thing I'm going to need to find before she gets down here though I really need them is like a litter box house like with the top on it and uh, I need to get a kitty cat condo and some other cat toys uh, our cat's a little stressed out with all the changes and she's gonna be even more spastic I suspect when Zoe does the flight so bearing that in mind uh, I'm gonna try to get her set up with stuff before they get down here so that we can go straight into settling Kari face in as easily as possible and uh, 
you know, getting her to start relaxing. Apparently she's not adjusting to change well at all, poor thing. So, uh, we get her squared away, and that'll be one more thing to the good. And the problem we're going to come up with here is just trying to make sure we have enough funds for me to keep everything running here. This is going to get a little noisy. I'm picking up wind on my back. I'm sorry. Um, and then making sure that we can cover the pet deposit, which is $200 for her. Since the doctor at OSU couldn't get her declared as a as a support animal because they can't physically prove that she tells her about her blood sugar and all that. That's kind of complicated things considerably. Ah, hello, I think I just found Grove Street. Hold on. Just checking here. Ah, yes! The double curb is the gateway to the steps of death. We're going to just bypass that, come to the left here, find our indented wheelchair ramp. You know what, I really hope this is a... Yeah, it is, okay. I have... Hey, this guy's going on down. Okay, yeah, he's going on down. I have... I've got a runner on Grove Street, but I can't tell what direction they're coming. Okay. So, yeah, we're trying to get the... Uh, all the money and funds together for that and get her down here. Hello big dog, hello big tree that just got me in the eye. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that. Ow, ow, ow. And all the needles getting me in the head. Beautiful, beautiful. This street has all kinds of shrubbery of death over here. Let me get around here. There we go. Now we're in the clear. So for those of you that are geographically curious this route this stretch of street continues on uh, Beecher Avenue comes through ouch on the other side thank you very much tree um, but it doesn't come all the way through here so we got a straight shot down to college which is a busy two-lane street but it happens to more or less come in here and traffic is forced to slow at Diamond Court which is about what I'm going to be coming up on when I get to this intersection Diamond Court and College because Diamond is kind of offset so once I make this crossing I'll have to jog significantly to the right I believe to pick up the street on College because I'm going ultimately down towards the plaza but as I was saying we're trying to get all the funds together to get Zoe up here with the cat and so between that and setting the place up for success um, it's uh, a little bit of a struggle and this is by no means an attempt to collect money and assist towards that goal if anybody wants to help out with that I obviously will not say no but I'm not looking to do fundraising right now we had to do enough of that before and quite frankly I'm tired of it I've got better things to do with my time at the moment. I like get ready for class and work things gently in the direction I want them to go. So, uh oh. Pesky things blocking my path. So, that's kind of where we are with all that. Construction zone or something here. Bypass this a little bit. Um, as for how I'm adjusting with my hearing aids and a cane, uh, it's, uh, it's not as bad as it could be, but it's not great either. These hearing aids do not do exactly what I need them to do with enough discrimination to make it as comfortable and as safe as I would like. So, at my earliest possible convenience, when I see what my insurance is going to be like here in Illinois, we are going to be switching if I can, hopefully, to a better set of hearing aids. I'm actually going to go uh, later on in the next few weeks, go over to the Beltone store here uh, and see if I can possibly take a look at some other things and uh, you know maybe talk to them about other options once I know what my insurance is going to be. 
because this isn't working. Or rather, it is working, but it's not meeting my goals as much as I need them. I need more sound discrimination. And I need things not to blend near as much as they do. Sometimes under uh, rougher conditions, traffic just turns into one gigantic white noise. And as you can imagine, if you can't judge where your traffic's coming at, you put yourself more at risk. And uh, because of that, there are times when I will work without these hearing aids. But in order to give them the benefit of the doubt and to train my brain, I'm keeping them in and using them on the minimum setting necessary to make this happen. Uh, I'm going to wave this guy through because I don't want him... Okay. So we are approaching what would be College and Diamond if it came through here. I'm not going to turn right and cross. Instead, I'm going to... This train is going to complicate things considerably. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's good. Oh, I see. My bad. My bad. This would actually help. I'm going to step in here just a little bit and see if there's another ramp that'll let me cross here a little safer. And of course there is not. Oh, Jacksonville. You make my life hard sometimes. Yeah, am I good? Yeah, you're good now. Okay, thank you. So... Again, for the ge ge geographically curious, what happened here was everything is kind of offset here. And because it's offset, and also these curbs literally work on a curve, it's hyper, hyper, hyper important that I line up with traffic sounds. And with my hearing aids not doing quite what I need them to do, that becomes a very tricky proposition of this. I am crossing what would be a diamond court here and heading on down college to the east. So again, this just definitely underscores the need for better hearing aids. Uh, ultimately, the goal of this route and this trip out is to A, stop at a place called Kim's Place for a cup of coffee and maybe something really light to eat because I didn't eat much when I left the house and in B heading over to public aid to uh, see what I can do about instating benefits and talk to them about my options because I've got a 90 day supply of medications uh, that will cover me but I need to get my insurance sorted out sooner rather than later because if social security starts paying that then I'm going to have about a hundred and what is it, 164 less in my check at a time when we really need it the most. So, so thank you very much. May your engine blow up. Just the engine, not the car. Just the engine. And may you find your funds to get a better exhaust system. These things I wish upon you. <laughs> Alright, so... I won't keep this video running too much longer. I'll, uh... We're committing here to the crossing at College and Prairie.
But yeah, uh, as I said, I really can't afford this hit uh, to my check right now. And because of that, I am trying to uh, take care of this before it takes care of me, so to speak. Because i got to ensure my uh, medications stay good. And I need to find a doctor here in town. So if anyone can recommend some good doctors, uh, I've got a couple options already, uh, but I'm still shopping. But if you can recommend some good doctors, let me know. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we are with all that. Um, I will probably make another update as time allows, because things are getting busy with my class starting up here in May. And as you can imagine, if Zoe's going to try to get down here in May, it's going to make for a very busy month. A very busy month. Um, I've still got a bunch of catch-up work and reading that I want to do just to kind of get back into the stream, into, you know, kind of the, the groove of things, catch myself up and make myself a little bit more uh, knowledgeable and refreshed on the material. Obviously, I'm going to cover it again in class if I'm taking it again, but I feel like so much is riding on me to be successful uh, with this career path and everything that we've gone through to get here and all the trouble we've had. I've got to follow through and make good. Uh, so for me, the stakes are rather high. And because of that, I need to make sure that I set myself up for success. We are crossing... Koskiosko now. Still heading east. Uh, later on today, I'm going to go hang out at a friend's place and uh, spend some time with her. And uh, I don't know what she's going to feed me yet. If she'll feed me at all. Time for queuing up the sad violins and I'm wasting away and all that. Poor, poor me kind of thing. And if you could see this gut I'm rocking, you wouldn't say poor, poor me. Anyway, um, final housekeeping before I wrap this video up. The channel has not been forgotten about, obviously. Things have just been hella hectic. Um, I haven't been able to do a lot of the stuff that I would have liked. Um, I still want to do some game playthroughs for you. Uh, I... I'm seriously considering the merits of switching over to Twitch TV. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I don't know if the format of what I do really makes that as feasible as I would like. We got more floral death traps here. Hello, trees. Um, but the plan is to go ahead and keep making content for you guys and. If I can keep the video recordings, maybe I'll simul post it to Twitch and YouTube. I don't know. I'm really debating. Because honestly, once things get going, I won't have the time for long playthroughs and stuff. So, and I don't want to keep rehashing old content if people really aren't interested in it. I've got better things to do with my time. But I also want to make sure that... Uh, you know, you all still have an idea what's going on with us. We're getting ready to cross Fayette here. Just making sure we're clear. And yes, it looks like we have a runner from behind on college. We're going to use him as an aiming point for the crossing. And we are committed and on the far side. Now, again for the geographically curious, this section is difficult now, especially since I'm still getting my muscle memory back, because uh, there's a place called the JHS Bowl. It's a nice big open area of parking lot that leads into where there's a bit like a, as I understand it, a big round bowl where they have sporting events for JHS and their graduations and stuff like that. Um, very easy to get sucked into. Again, hyper important that you keep traffic where it needs to be and uh, not get lured into the death trap, which is the bowl. I have, I am 
losing my contact here. I'm going to try to pick up a grass line and use it if we can. There we go. But anyway, so as I was saying, the channel has not been forgotten about. Uh, we had to stop, stop the snack crates because of income situations and stuff. It just wasn't working out. It was Zoe not working. We had to start backing things off to bare minimums. Uh, we might pick that up as things improve for us. I don't know. I haven't talked to her about that. So I don't want to speak for her. And this is kind of a joint thing that we do. Our big priority right now is getting things from Ohio, and it's in storage right now, here to Illinois. And we're looking at something that's going to be about potentially three to four grand to get the stuff down here. Uh, hang on. Starting to lose my shoreline. I think we're picking up the bowl and the crossing for Church Street. Hold on one second. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, hold on. I'm going to attempt the crossing here. There. All right. Not as smooth as I would have liked, but not bad either. I'll take it. All right, so let me get to a generally safer area here before I end this video. Um, okay, yeah, this path is going to take us into the street if I'm not careful. I need, ah, uh, thank you. Just a little near side parallel to make my job easier. There we go. There we go. So anyway, let me pick up some grass line here. Uh, so I've got a safe spot. And this actually will work almost nicely. Hold on. Let me get past this drive. And then we'll end this video. Uh, we will sail into a pile of shrubbery. That's what we will do. Okay. So as I said, uh, channel updates as I can. I'm trying to figure out the best format for the channel and what we're going to do. So, it's not always going to be gaming. It's not always going to be this kind of stuff. Uh, but as I figured out, I'll let you know. And if any of you guys want to suggest, uh, I have considered, you know, cooking things, stuff like that. Little things, you know, to fit with the channel. Slice of life. So, you know, we can do some cooking things. I gotta figure out just how I'm going to do that though, so that I'm holding the camera while I work. So, oh yeah, we'll do all kinds of things, make it work, but feel free to suggest, and uh, yeah, we'll make this thing happen one some kind of way. I don't wanna abandon this, but it, it definitely needs to be modified for the demands that I've got on my time now. So, let me, uh, get past uh, what I think is, I'm not sure what this place is actually, I think it might be, oh no, it's not the appliance store. But yeah, so we'll figure it out. If you all want to suggest, feel free. Uh, we'll go from there. I've had some, a few ideas tossed at me, so, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this up at this point because it's about to get a hell of a lot more complicated for me on this route and I don't want my attention diverted. So, um, with that, I want to thank you for sticking with it and uh, we will talk later. So, 22 times, 1.0 times, 22%, 1.0 Let me see. System UI, camera, recording time 2425, 2426, photo, We're stopping this video. Stop video, button. Pause recording button. Stop video Y'all take button. care. It was good to reach out to you again. Be safe. Take photo. Stop video button.